Welcome back to the channel, it's D again. If you've uh, been following for a while, um, you would know that the name of the channel has changed. Yeah, we're going with the OBD Mafia now, so I recently started an LLC. I've been working on these cars for a while. Um, I've worked on many, many uh, friends, families' cars, so, you know, I thought maybe, let's see, see if we can uh, do it as a side gig, a side hustle. Today, I am going to fix my e-brake so previously um, I did a uh, rear brake conversion so I went from a drum brake to a caliper brake um, and so essentially what I'm trying to do now is figure out what's wrong with my brake now we got these you know <laughs> single piston Brumbos got these rear brake assemblies from a 2007 Subaru WRX um, and they were, I mean, pretty worn. Um, the e-brake's pretty worn, so when I take it off, you'll see. Um, the Forester had drum brakes before. I swapped it to an 07 WRX um, rear hub assembly. So as you can see, the reason why my e-brake's not working is because this is worn out. Now there's still some pad left and I could probably use the dial on the bottom to adjust it, but why do that, right? Why do that when you can just buy yourself a new set? All right, so let's get started here. First, take off these springs. Oh, that was not planned. Take these pins off. You gotta push in and twist. Take the bottom spring off. This is the adjuster pin. Whatever you do, do not take this off because it's really, it's a really tough job to try to, to try to remove it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this pin off, the locking pin, and then we'll replace the shoe. If you get this from Advance Auto like I did, um, it'll come with the new hardware, so you could just replace it. Putting it in is easier than taking it out, so. Sure, there's an easy way of doing this. Um, I just I don't have the right tool for this. Finally got it off. Okay. There's a new one going on. Just like that. Washer first. Retaining clip. hold it like this have the have the uh, spring just hanging there try to align this as best as you can yep, just like that okay so that's one We're done, 
got to put the rotor back on um, and the brakes and the wheels and everything. Um, additionally to this, we have a surprise. Um, we're going to be also throwing on these mud flaps. Um, so stay tuned till the end. Alright guys, and just like that, it's time for me to hit the road. Just remember, every journey is different, so make your own, guys. OBD Mafia out. Peace, guys.